Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mat. And today we are going to understand how to run logistic regression predictor in NIME. We run logistic regression analysis in a situation in which we are having one dependent variable which is on the categorical scale. The example of it is patient having the heart disease or not having the heart disease. A customer will buy our product or will not buy our product. There can be many independent variables and these independent variables can be on continuous or categorical scale. Now how to run logistic regression predictor? Let's see in NIME Analytics platform. So for this we will go in NIME Analytics platform. I'll activate input output from here. Now. I'll double click on it so that I can browse the data set which is in CSV format. I request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. Click on heart one, press open, click OK. Again, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. So you can see here the variables which are there in this data set are age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol level, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, maximum hours of exercise, exercise angina, old pick, straight slope, a patient having the heart disease or not having the heart disease. So this is our target variable, the dependent variable, which is categorical, dichotomous. We want to do the classification based on the independent variable, which is age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise. You can see that these variables are on different, you can say different scales. This is in two digit and this is in three digit. So it is necessary that we normalize it. How we can do it? So for this, I'll go in normalizer, activate the normalizer, right click on it, configure. I'll remove old pick and fasting blood sugar. Three types of normalization are possible. Mean max normalization in which now the entire data set will be divided into minimum 0 and maximum 1. Z score transformation in which each observation is subtracted from the mean of the over mean of that variable divided by standard deviation of that variable. And the third one is normalization by decimal scale. Normally, we go for mean max normalization, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the normalized table. So you can see age, cholesterol, resting blood pressure, and maximum hours of exercise. They all are on same scale. Now let us activate logistic regression learner from here. Right click on it and configure. Our target column, our dependent variable is heart disease. We will make the reference category as no so that we can do the comparison. Our constant will capture for no. Remove all, uh, take all the variables this side and only include those variables which have been normalized. Age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see coefficient and statistics. I have copied this table in the word file so that we can do the interpretation. Now it is necessary first that the p-value should be less than 0 0.05 so that we can say that this variable is contributing to the target variable which is our heart disease. Our heart disease we have captured as yes or no. What is the equation which is formed? The equation which is formed is log of Odds of heart disease. Odds of heart disease means heart disease is equal to yes. 1.409 constant plus 1.699 into age plus 1.519 into resting blood pressure minus 2.241 into cholesterol level. So the equation which is formed is you can see 1.409 plus 1.699 into age plus 1.519 into resting blood pressure, minus 2.241 into cholesterol, minus 4.207 into maximum hours. So this is the equation. Our target variable is heart disease and our reference category is heart disease is equal to no. 
This means that our constant in equation, this captures for heart disease is equal to no. Now, let us do the interpretation. What is the coefficient of H? 1.69, p-value less than 0 0.05. So it, this means that H is contributing or rather H is a deciding factor for heart disease. This means that holding all other variables constant, a one unit increase in age is associated with the increase in log odds of having the heart disease by 1.699 units. In other words, the odds of having the heart disease are significantly affected by age, even when controlling for other variables in the model. If the beta coefficient in logistic regression model is 1.699, we will have to calculate the exponential beta, which is 5.460. The coefficient for age is 1.699, then the exponential beta is 5.460. The interpretation will be at one unit increase in the predictor variable. Predictor variable means uh, age, holding all other variable constant. The odds of outcome variable increases by a factor of 5.460. In other words, in a very simple way, as age increases, the likelihood of having the heart disease increases. Let's form the equation. In this equation, we will substitute one unit of h, keeping all other terms constant. So now log of h, uh, log of odds, this is constant. 1.699 is a coefficient and h will consider only one, that is one unit. So now my log of odds will be 1.699. This means that one unit increase in h the log odds of the outcome variable increases by 1.699 units. In other words, as age increases, the likelihood of having the outcome variable heart disease equal to yes increases. Now let us convert this beta code, this exponential beta into the percentage. If the beta coefficient in logistic regression model is 1.699, the corresponding odds ratio is 5.460. When we calculate the percentage change, the percentage for change formula is percentage change is equal to exponential beta minus 1. So 5.460 minus 1, it is equal to 446 uh, percentage. This means that one unit increase in the particular variable age is associated with 446 percentage increase in odds of outcome variable heart disease is equal to yes holding all other predictor variables constant. Now, let us talk about the coefficient of cholesterol, which is negative. Age was positive. So, what will be our interpretation for cholesterol? Keeping all other variables constant, a one unit increase in cholesterol is associated with the decrease in log of odds of having a heart disease by minus 2.241 units. In other words, the odds of having a heart disease are significantly affected by cholesterol weight. So, if the beta coefficient in logistic regression model is minus 2.241, then we can calculate the odds ratio, exponential beta. We will take exponential beta, which is 0 0.106. This means that the coefficient for cholesterol is minus 2.241 and exponential beta is 0 0.106. So our interpretation is one unit increase in the cholesterol level holding all other variables constant, the odds of heart disease decreases by a factor of 0 0.106. In other words, in a simple language, as cholesterol level increases, the likelihood of having the heart disease decreases. This is a hypothetical data. It does not have any relevance any relevance to the, uh, the actual data. Now, let us form the equation, the log of odds. This is the same equation which we are considering here. This is the same equation. We'll keep all other parameters constant and we will use one, uh, one unit change in cholesterol. So, what is the equation which is formed now? So, log of odds is equal to minus 2.241, we have taken only one unit of cholesterol. So it is beta 0 into minus 2.241. This means that one unit increase in cholesterol level, the log odds of the outcome variable decreases by 2.241 units. 
In other words, as cholesterol level increases, the likelihood of having the outcome variable heart disease is equal to yes decreases. Now we want to convert this odds ratio into a percentage change. How we can do this? Let me remove this thing from here. So if the beta coefficient in logistic regression model is minus 2.241, our coefficient, its corresponding odds ratio is 0 0.106. So, the percentage change is equal to exponential beta minus 1 into 100%. So, let's substitute exponential beta 0 0.106 minus 1. It is negative 89%. Now, what will be our interpretation? One unit increase in the predictor variable, that is, that is cholesterol level. This means that one unit increase in the predictor variable variable that is cholesterol level is associated with 89% decrease in odds of outcome variable. So in a layman language as cholesterol level increases the probability of occurrence of heart disease decreases. This is what is data that uh, this is just a hypothetical data. It can be true or it cannot be. It's just a hypothetical data holding all other predictor variables constant. Now we will use the predictor here in NIME analytics platform. So we'll again go back and activate logistic regression predictor. Now I'll connect this normalizer with the predictor. Right click on it, configure. Click on both this prediction column and we want the probabilities also. Click OK. Again, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the predicted data. So now we are having the original data heart disease and the prediction done with the probabilities. You can see the probabilities. So our equation is formed on the basis of. Uh, considering the reference category as no and we want to do the prediction for heart disease yes yes now let us pick up one uh, one observation this one and try to do the things manually in our word file you can see here the same data which is uh, generated here i have copied it in the word file now we'll substitute this in our equation which is formed here log of odds in this we will substitute so log of uh, heart disease is equal to the cause this is constant 1.699 into age minus 1.519 into resting blood pressure minus 2.241 into cholesterol minus 4.207 into maximum hours of exercise so log p of 1 minus p constant is same 1.699 into age age is 0.245 this one plus 1.519 into resting blood pressure into 0.7 minus 2.241 into cholesterol level this is 0.479 minus 4.207 into maximum hours of exercise which is 0.789 when we will solve this we will get minus 1.504. So now my P upon 1 minus P is equal to e to the power minus 1.504, which is 0 0.220. When I'll solve this equation, I'll get the probability of occurrence of heart disease because our predictions are based on heart disease. That is, we are calculating the log of odds of heart disease. So the answer is 0.182. So will this patient be having the heart disease on the basis of age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol and maximum hours? So our answer is, uh, the probability is 0 0.182. Let us go back and check it. So the pro this is the probability is very low. It means that the patient will not have the heart disease. This is our actual data and our predicted data is also no. It means that our prediction is quite good. The model is working quite well. So this is a way you can run logistic regression predictor in NIME.
For more videos online, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on 9.